Let's start with the moment you type in your prompt. How are cats and dogs different? For us humans, this question is simple. We have real life experience and memories and observation to know that a dog and cats have four legs. But for AI, this is much more complicated. It cannot understand these animals and concepts like we do. So here is what it does instead. AI will break down our prompts and sentences into chunks, into words. These words will be assigned numerical values and it is until now that the AI will be able to understand and know what we are looking for. And it does so by assigning high value weights to important words. From these three high value words, it knows that we are looking for a comparison between these two animals. After knowing what we want from them, this is where the fun begins. AI is trained on trillions of data points across the internet. Articles, books, forums, websites, you name it. And after a while, the AI will build a library full of words that are highly associated with dogs. Mark, four legs, friendly, man's best friend. These are most likely used to describe a dog. With the words library for dogs and cats, it begins to pick out a few from each list to prepare an answer. But here's a fun fact. The sentence that we see by AI is not a prepared list of things. Rather, they generate answers word by word based on statistic. So let's say in the thousands of ways you can start to answer this question, AI found out that the word cats is used 45% of the time. It will begin with the word cats. It will then repeat the process for the second word, but this time it will also calculate with the word cats in mind. And it will repeat this process for the third word, the fourth, and so on until it feels like the idea is properly represented, by which point the AI will send an end of sentence signal to make sure that it doesn't yap too much.